Yes, hello, Casper here again with the daily scoreboard. Uh, one hour earlier than usual, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Yesterday, I did a um, two a lot of questions from the Twitter community. I tried to split it into two screens. Uh, and that was that was not the best idea at all. I will not be doing that again. So for those of you who couldn't see much, you know, maybe on a, on a cell phone, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, I will definitely not be doing that again because you could barely see some of the charting uh, on at least a cell phone that was very difficult. So yeah, let's uh, get straight into business here with the daily scoreboard. Again, we have one hour, two hours left and the US is open. So a bit of a, uh, not so much volume and so on into, into the stock market, but we got to do what we got to do. Daily scoreboard, silver, again, as mentioned, roughly flat for today. Um, nothing major has happened. And uh, we're just squeezing up tightly here. Nothing new. You know the pattern here. Uh, hopefully, this results to the upside. That is my case. Um, gold actually doing, I wouldn't say great, but, you know, 3, 0.3% is, is, is definitely nice. Still broke out of that red bull flag. And now we have two big resistances coming in here, roughly... 2060 and uh, 2076 big level to get big level to get through really um so yeah the gold to silver ratio again just hoovering here we really want to see this one start to go down have that big retest hopefully and then crash down through the rising wedge um but yeah uh nothing really happening there as well the dixie up zero uh, rough 0 0.2 percent again we have this kind of inverted head and shoulders. We had a bit of a fakey fakey here. So let's see, big, big level again, getting below 102 in my view could be the start of something a lot more drastic to the downside. Bitcoin up 3% today. Uh, just making a big statement here, uh, big engulfing candle, 3%. And uh, and yeah, definitely if, if it drops below these lows here, you know, roughly let's call it Let's call it roughly 41,000. Um, so it's barely hanging in there. Uh, oil all over the place. Uh, still, you know, hanging in there. Did kind of a breakdown here. I actually called it. looked like it could drop down significantly. But it actually recovered quite nicely on the daily. But again, it still has a lot of work to do. And uh, yeah. Nothing much to mention here, really. It's just you can just see the bears and the bulls are fighting it out here. Huge week uh, Friday and now huge week again Monday in both directions. Uh, the ETFs we cannot go through. We can go through the <laughs> uranium spot price. Blasting into our big gap here at 100. We are currently at 104. I actually think we are at 106, to be honest. But nonetheless, just keep rocking it here. URNM not updated. Uh, so we can go through the 10-year yield. The reason it's not updated is, as mentioned, because we have the U.S. closed. Um, so, yeah, we have the yields here coming down from that bullish blue pennant. I think we could actually go all the way down here and looking for a possible double bottom. So we, I think we're going to roughly 3.8, uh, up just a tad today, but really nothing, nothing major. Um, yep, let's go through the through the Twitter stuff that I have found here. Some of them are from three days ago, so so Friday. Again, uh, we can go through here. Uh, Tavi Custer, follow this guy. He's just a really knowledgeable guy to 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 learn from. This chart stands out as one of the most bullish setups for the next 10, uh, five to 10 years. It's an inevitable break breakout will from this historical resistance. Uh, it's the prime reason for our strategical focus on deploying capital efficiency into high quality projects with substantial exposure to silver. Again, I've been covered this many times, that huge, big resistance. You can also add it from there coming down. Again, 26 bucks is the level. Uh, uh, and I will not change that uh, unless you have a huge drawdown, then it will it could change. But 26 seems to be the big one to get through. Transpider, Amazon, cleared for launch. Again, inverted head and shoulders, break out some retesting down over here, testing the zone, and it looks like it could be ready to go higher if this is the real deal. Yet, I agree, we could actually see the highs for Amazon. Just screw up BTC, and then uh, we'll approve the ETFs right into weekly resistance. Um, 
Yep, that's that's true. Actually, I think it's more of a you know uh, a human psychology. You know that they pushed the, the the price straight into three big, big, big resistances just when the ETF is approved. Um, I don't think they did it on purpose, but I think it's human psychology to aim for that uh, when when it is get released. So Luke Martin here. I simply pretend this BT uh, chart uh, does not exist. Again here, the CME futures, whoops, the Bitcoin futures, whoops, and now the Bitcoin uh, spot ETF again. So, yep. Uh, Axel here with uh, some, uh, with the download breaks, I, I'll take the percentage difference to measure price objective uh, projected. But really this, again, just keeping it very, very simple. Beautiful textbook, great symmetry. Uh, uh, shoulder head shoulder and we're now breaking down and again uh, stop loss and then the, the the target right so definitely just very textbook keeping it simple and um, and yeah that is what Axel is really really good at finding setups and uh, just waiting being patient you are in a miners ETF versus the spot price yep we have looked at it here as well the third touch uh, in my honest opinion uranium miners are about to go absolutely ballistic vertically this is going to be a wild ride I agree. Uh, I completely agree. And uh, this was Peak, also the, a guy that is very much uh, involved in uranium. Uh, I see him a lot of. Uh, I, I see him comment a lot. And uh, so yeah, trend spider again here. TLT are bond setting up for round two again. Breakout of that huge falling wedge, and now we're breaking out bull flagging here. Um, a hundred was resistance. You can see so getting from two digits to three is often. Uh, resistance, same here again, but we are both like here on the TLT. If this rises, that means rates will be going down. Gold and silver, yep, you know. Uh, Jave here, uh, Mary Jane on watch, MSOS, so this is cannabis. Just a huge coiling up here on uh, on all the weeklies here. Um, you can just see here it's breaking above all those. And again, M MSOS, which is cannabis, uh, looks absolutely primed to do a big move to really start to to curl higher here again for the cannabis uh, sector. Jay Hinster, uh, Fortuna, FSM, uh, two weekly, uh, one of my favorites. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yep, I like it again here. I think there's actually a lot of miners and I will, I have one or two in my, uh, at the end of this video that looks like, you know, they are trying to really make a stand here and break out and do something big again that usually happens before silver breaks out so this could also be a moment where we have uranium and silver doing some great things together which i have showed many times that uh, when when you have one or the other outperforming its underlying metal that's usually also when the other ones joins the ride uh, i think you can find it somewhere on my on my twitter page grady gold that's a clear bull flag quarterly breakout uh, in q4 2023 now back, back testing, there it is, that little back test from that dotted line. Uh, historical price action right here, right now. I sincerely hope you're paying attention. Goal is getting ready. Opportunity and a threat of a lifetime. So if gold does what it is setting up to do, silver will follow. That's also why I'm very bullish on silver. I think gold, as always, gold leads. And when and if gold starts to resume, you know, back above, let's call it 2,100, um, silver... You cannot deny that silver silver will follow. URG, Jay Hinster again here. Um, uh, for a friend, again, that's a falling wedge here. And you can see the big inverted head and shoulders. I actually would prefer this on a log scale. That I think that would be very beautiful setup here. Neckline breaking out. Again, the measured move adds up with, a, with the highs from 2011. We are roughly at 1.7. And that's a 100% move right there. Uh, so, yep. Again, remember the entries is here, depending on how you draw that uh, draw that wedge, right? But the entry was down here. Um, so, and you have the bull flag now resumption as well. So, trader BTC Bitcoin. A new trend begins for Bitcoin. You can see here coming down here. Um, again, we did have some kind of big reversal here. So, I don't know how far we are, but definitely a trend line broken. But if it can recap it, then there is some hope. But again, it, it Bitcoin is barely hanging in there. As we speak, PTU chart is uh, uh, chart is bullish. Uh, chart is as bullish as it comes. Excuse me, uranium. Boop. Again, one trend line. That sometimes that's all you need. One trend line, and you have your entry right here. Stop loss right there. P 
beautiful. Now, again, you don't, I, I mean, that one trend line could actually, you know, show you uh, when, when to exit, uh, excuse me, when to enter. Uh, so yeah, keep it simple. I love it. Oops, don't do that. Do not do that. That wasn't the case. Ole Hansen here, the squeeze is on. Uranium prices hit a new record and the industry will just see further to go. Again, a big, uh, has a big following base. And this is, I think, one of the first times he's on uranium. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but definitely want to watch here. As mentioned, he has a huge following and uh, a good analysis uh, guy as well. So back to the five charts that I have for you today. Oh, that wasn't the intention. So monthly here, FUU. Sorry for the big mess here at the beginning. I think FUU looks just primed to go here again. Wait for that roughly. Where are we now? We are at, we are actually just at the go. Uh, if you go to the daily, how close are we? How close are we on the daily? We are pretty damn close. Well, getting above, let's, let's give it a fixed number here. Let's set in these highs here so we get a bit of a wiggle room. 0 0.47. Yep, 0 0.47. And this stock, to me, looks insanely primed to just make some huge moves to the upside. Um, Can Alaska here again. This one is also primed here. Bit of a lag laggard here but anyways you can see the long term uh, what's that two years almost three years worth of waiting is coiling up here and ready to and ready to go a bit of a gap here today uh, it's up eight percent you can see the gap there uh, that that could be closed that could actually be a great entry um but anyway it, this one as well coiling up big time and this one should you know propel very quickly up to there uh, when it breaks uh, the 2016 highs very quickly in my view. Defiance, showed it before again, this is silver. Uh, again, silver, the miners here, just looks like they're doing a major statement right here again, uh, Defiance. Hitting that long-term lower trend line here, it's a parallel channel and uh, breaking out retesting and bull stacking as we speak. Go to the daily for some, uh, for the for the entry, but I would put it roughly somewhere around here. That is, you know, the bull flag to watch. And we are now retesting it once again here. If we get above there, stop loss can be placed, you know, in the in this vicinity. But again, overall on the monthly, I really like what I'm seeing. Again, this could be a precursor to what silver and gold is about to do. Uh, ASM, that's a Venor Silver Mines, a bit of a wild beast when it comes to to the to stocks and, and the charting, but also setting up here, for, in my honest opinion. For something big here, could break a roughly one year falling wedge uh, to the upside right there. And uh, if it does, I think we're going to hit that upper trend line, which is roughly right here again. It, it The trend lines are not that perfect on this chart, but they are there. And uh, that's a parallel channel right there. And I think we could be getting up to there and then we might recharge, but then we have one, two, three, four, five. Um, so. Avino is also highly, highly leveraged to the silver price. Again, showing that maybe silver is on the verge of something big. If these miners can start to get going, when are we? When are we happy? I think we are happy roughly somewhere around here when we start to really break out here. So let's call it roughly zero point seven three, maybe a tad higher, just to get a bit of bit more wiggle room. Uh, Vista Silver, also here breaking that shoulder, a uh, head shoulder trend line here. Uh, this was a big scare, obviously, um, neckline there. Um, but you can see here we are breaking. And uh, this is usually a sign, usually the, a sign that this topping pattern is negated. Uh, the fully negation comes here, taking out the shoulder. But definitely this is worth a, uh, a watch here. We could do a full retest, you know, but still looks really, really good for this silver. So yeah, that's it. And... Um, what do you want to say more? Nothing that the markets in the US are open. That's why I think, I don't think there's a lot of volume here, but again, uranium miners is looking really good. And uh, I also think that gold and silver miners are heavily underlooked at the moment. You know, uranium gets all the, all the fun stuff, but I think some of them uh, makes up for some pretty damn good entries. Uh, and uh, yeah, they shouldn't be missed. Just like uranium, I'm also... Very excited about gold and silver for 2024. Yep.
that is all have a great day and we will see you tomorrow when the u.s markets is always is all so open excuse me and uh, yeah let's see how it does uranium gold silver and all that good stuff bye guys cheers